Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Access Game Team Nocturnal, and today I'm going to show you a little guide I wrote up to install uh, Android SDK inside Ubuntu 1204 and 1110 LTS. This should also work on older versions. Um, so let's get started here. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to go to team nocturnalcom and you want to go to the forms. Uh, you want to go to the under the video section is a how to uh, guide in there and you just basically you're going to search for the uh, ADB in Ubuntu Linux I'll have a link under this video uh, so you can find that later on um, then after that you're just going to go ahead and read the guide here uh, first thing you want to do is you want to click on the first link which will take you to the uh, Android developer page and uh, you're going to download the uh, Android SDK for Linux and uh, once that's downloaded you're going to save that to your your home folder um, I'm sorry you're going to open the archive first then you're going to extract it to your home folder okay just going to open up the home folder here uh, once it's in the, once you're in the home folder it's going to say uh, it's going to be called Android um, x86 something Linux rename that folder to Android like it says here so you keep the Android, keep it. Is basically what you're going to do with it by that is it just avoids less more typing later down the road. It's just easy to get to the folder and, and you got to worry about hyphens is and if you type something wrong. So it's keep it simple. So when that's in there, you're all done. Um, after that, um, you want to make sure you did you have it in a proper folder. So what you want to do is type in CD on your terminal. Then you hit CD forward slash home forward slash and this is where you put your username in this case mine's Robert forward slash um, Android forward slash hit enter and if you see the Android with the little dollar sign that means you're in the proper folder uh, if it comes up like um, where it says uh, not, no such file directory that means it's not in your it's either not named properly or it's not the right place so, uh, but you, you sh if you follow this guide, you shouldn't have a problem putting it in the right folder. Um, next thing you want to do is, you want to install, if you're on CD4 bit Linux, uh, you want to install the 32 bit uh, LIBs. Uh, this is going to let you run um, the SDK in a CD4 bit operating system because uh, the SDK is 32 bit only. Um, you can try this on a if if you have issues running the, the SDK on your 32 bit Linux, you can try this and see if it works. Um, but I'm on 64 bit, so I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure you don't need this on 32 bit. But it's here just in case. Um, so basically, you're just going to type in on, on uh, step four, you're going to type in uh, sudo apt get install, or you can uh, go ahead and copy and paste it like, like this. We go back to type city again, and you can copy and paste like so and hit enter it's going to ask your password pop in your password and then it's going to uh, download a bunch of 32-bit files for the Android run properly um, once you get that done go ahead and type in the next command and what that is going to do is open up a text document here okay so with that open you're going to add the following lines. This is basically going to um, pop in the ADB paths into your system. So you're going to go to the very bottom of this text document from the step four, and you're going to add the one that says Android Tools. You're going to add these two two lines here. Okay. As you notice this is Android forward slash tools, Android forward slash platform tools. Uh, go ahead, save, and then close that out. Once you close that out, you're back to terminal again to your main thing. Um, next thing you're going to type in is get J E D I T and well, let, me, let me just show you how just copy and paste it real quick, it'll be easier to type in it. Um, go ahead and paste that in there. When that opens up, it has another text document. Okay, on this one, you're going to add this, do the same thing. There's a code on the bottom of this, just add to the very bottom of this file, like I did here. Hit save and close. Once that's done, um, just go ahead and continue on your um, your the, the guide here. 
you're going to export the uh, the paths here. So go ahead and copy this, paste in terminal, and hit enter, and that's it. Um, now, here's the important thing. Um, we're going to type in, uh, just make sure the main hit CD, so you're the main thing again. And you're going to type in LSUSB. Uh, what this does, it shows you connected devices on your computer. Uh, in this case, I have a bunch of, uh, I got, you know, this Linux stuff, the Intel stuff. It's basically, I guess, your, your hardware you have hooked up. Uh, in this case, you see it says Google at the bottom. This is my phone. If I unplug my phone and type that again, it doesn't show up no more. So the one that says Google will be your phone. All right, so go ahead and hit that, and there's your phone. You want to save that ID down there. Mine says 18D1. Uh, D002. You want to save this and put it on a little text doc or write it down because you're going to need that later on. Alright. Um, then you're going to go in terminal and type in the following, which opens our text document up. This will be blank when you open it. Uh, basically, with these first ones here, these here I put in the, in the guide automatically for you. This is in case you have an older version of Ubuntu, like a, a version 10. Uh, this will work for you. You don't even have to save that, that code that we did in the previous step here. Because uh, I already put them in here for you. This is for HTC, Samsung, Sony, um, Motorola, and so on. If you have Ubuntu 11 and up, like 1104, 1204, 1110, and so on, uh, you're going to use this bottom code here. And on the very top, on the top line, as you can see, I have my uh, my device ID right there, the one I, I saved from the previous step. So you're going to go ahead and make sure you have your right device ID in there, and go ahead and hit save, and then close. And once that's done, uh, you can continue with the rest of the guide. The guide is pretty straightforward, very easy to use. Just copy and paste everything in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue the guide for you real quick. But it's very simple. Basically, like I said, it's all copy and paste. So just kind of paste these lines here. Um, now what we're going to do is we are going to, once you get to step six, we're going to update your uh, your Android SDK. So what you're going to do is type in cd forward slash home and then your username, uh, then Android. Then you're going to hit tools, for slash, enter. I mistyped something. There you go. Alright, so now I'm in tools. Uh, now you're going to type in uh, period, for slash, Android. And you're going to get this little pop up here. What you want to do is you want to check under tools here. You want to make sure you have the first two checked. Uh, Android SDK tools and Android SDK platform tools. As you can see, I already have it installed. Um, if, it did, if it said uninstalled or available, you go ahead and check that. And then you hit install package. You get the next pop-up, which looks like um, the following right here. You hit accept all and then install. Once that's all done and all installed and downloaded, you can type in terminal, type in CD, then you're going to type in A, um, ADB devices. And I should show you a device right there. Um, if the ADB devices don't work, try putting uh, period forward slash ADB devices. There you go. Um, with this guy, you don't have to use the CD anymore to navigate to the um, platform tools. You just open terminal, just like this, and close it out real quick. Just open up a fresh terminal, just like that. And you just type in ADB devices, and that's it. And you don't have to worry about typing in, you know, CD and this and that, like on the other guys. Like you can just type in CD, forward slash home, forward slash username forward slash android, forward slash platform tools.
enter, and then you gotta type in, you know, ADB devices, stuff like that. So you don't have to do all that. You can just type it right in right from the root, which is really cool. So it saves a lot of time uh, and make it a lot easier on everyone else. And this also works for fast boot or any other commands that are inside a platforms tool folder or the Android tool folder. Everything's good. Like you type in Android right from the command prompt, there you go. You don't gotta worry about typing city or nothing like that. So this will save a lot of, lot of time. So uh, that's the guide. Um, if you get that far, you're good to go. Um, if you have any issues, go ahead and post them on the thread. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can post them here too. Uh, and for more videos and, uh, and guides, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And uh, that's it.